Good morning everybody. Well I'm outside, I've got some big green leaves behind me, I've got a donkey and so that can only mean one thing, it is Palm Sunday. So welcome everybody to our second sofa service on Palm Sunday. It's great to have you all with us, it was great last week um, to have all the messages coming in and uh, how many people have been encouraged by sofa service, it was really great to hear that although we can't meet together, um, we can still be supporting one another and meeting together in worship. So um, this morning as we gather together, um, I've got a short uh, prayer. I'd love you to join in with the words, we welcome you, Jesus. So let's pray. In our town and in our homes, we welcome you, Jesus. With our friends and our families, we welcome you, Jesus. In our work and our play, we welcome you, Jesus. In all that we hope for, we welcome you, Jesus. In the times when we are upset or worried, we welcome you, Jesus. In every part of our lives, we welcome you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, as we worship you this morning on Palm Sunday, when people remember you coming into Jerusalem on a donkey, we welcome you into our lives, we welcome you into this time of worship and we give you this time. Meet with us, we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, whatever you did uh, last week, uh, whether you um, stood to sing or um, you stayed sitting down and enjoyed um, the music washing over you, we're going to um, worship now in song. is rising, eyes are turning to you, we turn to you, hope is stirring, hearts are yearning for you, we long
praise we sing Heaven bows down and worships your name God of creation we praise Glory and honor to you we bring Beautiful Savior, your praise we sing The Triumphant Entry into Jerusalem As Jesus and his disciples approached Jerusalem, they came to Bethpage at the Mount of Olives. There Jesus sent two of the disciples on ahead with these instructions. Go to the village there ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied up with her colt beside her. Until Untie them and bring them to me, and if anyone says anything, 
tell him the master needs them and they will let you take them at once. This happened in order to make what the prophet had said come true. Tell the city of Zion, look, your king is coming to you. He is humble and rides on a donkey. So the disciples went and did what Jesus had told them to do. They brought the donkey and the coat and threw their cloaks over them and Jesus got on. A large crowd of people spread their cloaks on the road while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds walking in front of Jesus and those walking behind began to shout, Praise to David's son. God bless him who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was thrown into an uproar and the people asked, Who is he? This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. The crowds answered. So I wonder if any of you have been joining in with the NHS clapping at 8pm on Thursday evenings. We joined in um, this week and it's just a huge, just you can just feel the positivity in the air, the community coming out together, and clapping and cheering and waving with saucepans um, banging and there was fireworks, there was music, um, there was a real sense of the community coming together. A lovely moment where we all come out of our homes, having been in our homes. A lovely moment of waving to people across the street. And then five minutes later, we all go back in. But we came out that evening to show our appreciation for the key workers, for all those who are risking their lives by continuing to work to help the lives of others and even to save the lives of others. And it got me thinking about, I wonder what the emotion must have been like on Palm Sunday. And there was that mix of the excitement, maybe a bit of apprehension, maybe a bit of wondering what was really going on, but maybe that sense of community spirit, everyone coming together, cheering a common goal, cheering a common person, a person who they'd come to love. They'd come to love his teaching. They loved that he was going to be their king. He was going to come and save them. And so they were cheering Jesus on, happy to put their coats on the ground and wave their palm branches and cheer Jesus on into Jerusalem. But I wonder if they recognised that they were cheering on a man who was putting his life at risk for their lives. A man who put his life at risk, who lost his life so that we could all have that eternal life. The events that we remember this week as we journey through Holy Week, Good Friday, and of course, Easter Day, when he conquered death and rose again. And so as we think about a time when we're showing our appreciation for those who are putting their lives on the line. And on a Palm Sunday, when people were cheering Jesus on, showing their appreciation for who he was, but maybe not fully realising exactly what he was going to do and how he was going to bring about that salvation, the saving of the whole world. So I wonder this week, even today, how are you going to show your appreciation for Jesus on this Palm Sunday? How are you going to be cheering him on? Maybe it feels a difficult time to be cheering him on in the midst of the isolation in the midst of not being able to see the people that we love, in the midst of not being able to do the things that we'd planned to do. But regardless, or not regardless, but holding together those things, holding together the sadness, we can come to Jesus and cheer him on and thank Jesus that he makes a way he makes things possible he made that journey into jerusalem because of his love for each of us he made that journey into jerusalem to conquer death 
to conquer all that was wrong in this world and to start to set things right. And so how today can we show our appreciation for Jesus? How can we cheer Jesus on? How can we thank him? Well, I say thank you to everybody who sent in the videos this week of you waving your palm branches. We're now going to um, play them all. And as we do, as you watch people waving their branches and cheering Jesus on, what is it that you want to say thank you to Jesus for this week? It might be a huge thing. It might be just a tiny thing. At the end of our service today, I've chosen a song that many of you may not know. It's called Raise a Hallelujah. But it's a song I've had in my head for the last few weeks. And about how we can sting, still sing and praise God in the midst of a storm, in the face of our enemies. When things don't seem right in the world, we will still raise a hallelujah. We will still shout, Hosanna, Hosanna. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is King. And so, as now we watch the, the palm waving videos, give your thanks and your praise um, to Jesus on this Palm Sunday. And then once that video has finished, um, we've got a short um, little video that Bob Hartman um, has put together, the clip clock beat, um, uh, a jolly little song um, reflecting on uh, Palm Sunday before we go into a time of prayer. Hosanna! Hosanna! Yay! Yay! Jesus is coming! Yay! 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 Say hooray! Shake, shake! Shake, shake! <laughs> Big shake! Say hooray! Hooray! Say hooray! Yay! Hosanna! Hosanna! To the clip clop beat of a donkey's feet Everybody sing your praises to the king As the people shout and the stones cry out Everybody sing your praises to the king Everybody sing your praises to the king Go into the village to Jesus to his friends And find a cult that's never had a rider And if the owner asks to say the cult is for me And that's the only reason you've untied her To the clip clap beat of the donkey's feet Everybody sing your praises to the king As the people shout and the stones cry out Everybody sing the praises to the king Everybody sing your praises to the king So they went into the village and found the donkey colt And led it back to Jesus like he told them their coats and put them like a saddle on its back And Jesus headed up towards Jerusalem To the clip clop feet of the donkey's feet Everybody sing your praises to the King As the people shout and the stones cry out Everybody sing your praises to the King Everybody sing your praises to the King Before him like a carpet on the street While others 
them on the road as well to make a leafy lane. Then voices raise as one began to say, Blessed is the one who comes here in God's name. Hosanna in the highest in His praise. Who brings the promised kingdom of David to His own sing and shout. Our God's come to say, Blessed is the one who comes here in Leaders were not pleased with what they saw Tell them to be quiet, they complained If all my friends were silent, said Jesus with a smile The rocks would sing instead and praise God's name Praise for Palm Sunday. Father God, thank you for sending your Son and making the way for our lives to be set free through Jesus' death on the cross. Thank you for what this day stands for, the beginning of Holy Week, the start of the journey towards the power of the cross, the victory of the resurrection, and the rich truth that Jesus truly is our King of Kings. And everyone shouted, Hosanna! Humble King, we thank you for our church and we ask that you will help us to grow closer to each other and closer to you while we are apart. Being alone is hard, but we are grateful that no matter how alone we feel, you never leave us. And we're grateful for the technology that helps us stay in touch with each other. Give us the strength to endure this difficult season and deepen our relationship with you. And everyone shouted, Hosanna! For all who are affected by coronavirus, through illness or isolation or anxiety, that they may find relief and recovery, and everybody shouted, Hosanna! For doctors, nurses and medical researchers, that through their schools and insight, many, many will be restored to health, and everyone shouted, Hosanna! Hosanna. For all who are vulnerable and the fearful, for the seriously ill and the dying, that they may know your comfort and peace. And everybody shouted, Hosanna! Father God, we thank you for the time we have spent together today and we ask that you will be with us throughout the rest of the week let's think of the things that we are going to do later today and bring them before god now lord thank you that you listen to all our prayers spoken and unspoken and everyone shouted hosanna Well, I realised last week that last week's sofa service obviously wasn't a proper service because we didn't have any notices, so I thought I'd pop some notices in our service today. Uh, the main thing to tell you about is uh, how you can celebrate Holy Week at home. This is probably the most uh, important, the, the biggest week in the Christian calendar, the week as we journey up to Easter. And so 
uh, I'll be sending out an email on the church uh, email um, later on today with more details of how we're going to celebrate Holy Week together. Um, we're hopefully going to have um, a video put out each day, um, some things you can think about at home and hopefully then having a Zoom discussion each evening um, on a different theme and passage as we make this journey towards um, Good Friday and Easter Sunday. So do look out for more details about that. Also, the Diocese of Blackburn have asked us, as a way of marking Easter, we're not being able to gather together, but as a way of marking Easter and letting um, our neighbours, um, those walking past our homes, know that we are celebrating Easter this year. They've asked us to um, put a cross in our window. Many of you will have been putting rainbows in your windows, um, so now if you want to add to that rainbow, with a cross. It can be quite a big cross and it may be that as we um, go through this week you want to um, change your cross or add to your cross. It might start off quite simple at the beginning of the week but then how amazing it will be if on Easter Sunday it is a glorious um, bright display um, as a way of saying that Jesus is risen and Jesus is Lord and we are celebrating Easter this year. But again, I'll post more details on the Facebook page and on the email later on today. We've got sofa service uh, going now, but I imagine one of the things that you're probably missing is the um, coffee and a catch up after the service. And so today, if you're watching it at 10 o'clock, if you're watching it later, sorry, you might have missed this bit. But um, we're going to be having a coffee and catch up over Zoom at 11 o'clock. Um, the link for that has gone out on the church email, so if you're not getting those emails and would like to, then um, do drop me a message over Facebook um, or uh, email. My email is rev.alicecole at gmail.com. So uh, we can uh, have our coffee and chat, to, and chat um, virtually after the service at 11 o'clock. And finally, um, thank you to all those who are... Uh, and continue to give via standing order. It is really helpful um, as although the building may be closed at the moment, um, the church is continuing um, and so we're really grateful to um, all those who are giving at this time. And if you normally give by envelopes or um, by putting um, money when you can on the plate, um, if you can think about um, changing that to a standing order, um, then that would be great. We understand, however, that for some people at this time, um, money is going to be tighter than usual. But for other people at this time, um, actually, maybe they've got um, a little extra spare. Um, and so we just want to thank you for um, your giving to the church. But in addition to that, um, you may want to support... Um, the work that's going on to support um, our communities at this time and so if you're able to donate any food do drop it off at the reach um, just next door to Tim's Vicarage uh, just leave it outside um, the door don't go in um, and we can have as few people touching any door handles as possible but if you'd like to contribute to that financially again drop me a message and I can send you the details for that. I think that is all um, our notices for today. Um, I'm not going to sing happy birthday as we would normally do birthdays, but if it is your birthday this week or it has been last week, um, then a very happy birthday to you. Well, thank you for joining us this morning for our Palm Sunday sofa service. A final prayer to finish. When the path is hard, he will be with you. When the road is unclear, he will be your guide. When the journey is difficult, he will hold your hand. When the destination seems far away, he will stay by your side. When the way is dark, he will be your light. When you cannot see the way ahead, he will protect you. When all seems lost, he will give you the victory. 
When you feel alone, afraid and uncertain, he will hold you forever. When you go, he will always go with you. Amen. And so as we start this journey of Holy Week, this journey um, of Jesus' life to the cross, as we journey this week through with Jesus, know that he journeys this week with you. And we're now going to have our final song. This may be a new song to many, raise a hallelujah, but it's one that I've had um, in my head these last few weeks. And it talks about um, raising a hallelujah in the face of our enemies. That we're going to stand and sing in the middle of the storm. And so in the midst of all that's going on, um, we continue to sing, we continue to praise God. And today, as those shouts of Hosanna um, and blessing be his name and just giving shouts um, to how amazing Jesus is our final song we raise a hallelujah in the face of all the the bad things going on knowing that Jesus is Lord Amen I raise a hallelujah in the prayer Oh, mm -hmm.